Hello all. In this class or the video, let us learn the second principle of electroplating that is decomposition potential. In the previous video, we have learned the first one that is polarization, the definition, the meaning and various concepts involving involved with the polarization. So let us begin the video or the class with the decomposition potential. What do you mean by this decomposition potential? I'm going to explain directly the definition first here. It is defined as the minimum voltage that must be applied in order to bring about continuous electrolysis of an electrolyte. So this is the definition, the minimum voltage that must be applied. So during the electroplating, electrolysis process is very important. Without that electrolysis, the electroplating does not occur. And to bring about the continuous electrolysis, we need to apply some minimum voltage. Below the minimum, no electrolysis begins, no electroplating occurs. And hence, there will be a requirement, a minimum requirement that must be applied in order to bring about the continuous electrolysis of an electrolyte to carry out the process of electroplating. That is the meaning of the and definition of a decomposition potential. And it can be represented as like this. ED equals E cathode minus E anode. ED means decomposition potential because E stands for potential. That already we have studied a lot of concepts uh, with uh, respect to the E in the first module. So decomposition potential equals potential of cathode minus potential of anode. And this can be determined by an electrolytic cell. What is this electrolytic cell? How it is made up of? Let us go with the determination of this decomposition potential. And uh, it is uh, determined by using electrolytic cell, as I said. And this cell consists of two platinum electrodes immersed in a dilute solution of an acid or a base, any sulfuric acid, dilute sulfuric acid, let us assume. The voltage is varied along the wire and the current passing through the cell is measured using an ammeter. So to measure the current, we have ammeter here and voltage to vary the uh, voltage here, the voltmeter is fixed here. At low voltage, no reaction occurs. That means we found that during this uh, determination, we found that at a low voltage, there will be no reaction. And there is a slight increase in the current and small amount of hydrogen and oxygen are liberated at cathode and anode respectively. That means whenever we increase, slightly increasing the voltage, the current starts flowing and moving. And there will be a liberation of hydrogen at the cathode and oxygen at the anode. On increasing the voltage to slightly above 1.7 volts, there is an abrupt increase in the current and process of electrolysis begins. That means whenever the voltage reaches uh, 1.7, slightly above 1.7, there is an abrupt increase in the current. Suddenly, current rises, increases, and the process of electrolysis begins. A plot of current against applied voltage is as shown in the diagram here. This is the battery, resistance, ammeter, voltmeter, cathode. This is the anode, this is a cathode. This is a uh, dilute, uh, dilute sulfuric acid, which is an electrolyte. Here, at low voltage, no current. So here, you can see the graph here. Whenever the voltage increases to 1.7 here, sudden evolution of hydrogen and oxygen occurs at cathode and anode respectively. This is because of a sudden increase in the current. That means here 1.7 is a minimum voltage. Only after 1.7, the actual electrolysis begins and process of electroplating occurs. This is what the determination. This is how we can conclude this. Now coming to the last one, over voltage. So here it is defined as the excess voltage that has to be applied above theoretical decomposition potential to bring the continuous electrolysis of an electrolyte. It is called over voltage. The name itself, over means excess. In some cases, definitely we need to put some excess voltage above the expected theoretical decomposition potential. Only at that condition, the electrolysis begins. This is applicable for a few cases. For example, theoretical potential of oxygen at platinum electrode is 1.23 volts. 
but the actual discharge potential of oxygen is 1.68 the difference is there no between uh, 1.23 and uh, 1.68 how much it is around 0.45 volt this 0.5 0.45 volt is the over voltage of oxygen when we use the platinum electrode surface and we have a small formula for this over voltage is the experimental decomposition potential minus of theoretical decomposition potential so this is nothing but a over voltage in the next video let us begin with the example of electroplating thank you all